Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington, yeah, <laughs> alright, in this video I'm bringing you uh, five of my, some of my favorite glitches that I, I love to do, I, I use them a lot in the game, they're harmless, I mean I don't think you'll get in trouble for using them at all, uh, I mean they're really easy, it's no big deal, it's fun, big shout out to Hunter Man for helping me out with this, thank you so much dude, Jay Glenn is in the party too, appreciate you man hanging out and just chilling with us. Uh, you guys know what to do, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. Hell yeah, so the first one is the duffel bag glitch, right? There is a way to get the duffel bag on your character if you have an outfit you want to put it on. Uh, you do need two people, but it's really easy, all right? Uh, one of you needs to register as a CEO and uh, go ahead and load up into your CEO well, mission or whatever. Uh, you want to start your special vehicle work. You want to start the Phantom Wedge mission. That one right there. Just confirm it. You need at least two people to get this mission going. Once again, if you got a couple people that need some help with them outfits, or if you ha already have a duffel bag, help out one of your boys. Okay, don't be a don't be a jerk. Help them out. Uh, just go ahead and just rush through this. You can you know set whatever settings you want to set, normal, hard, whatever. You won't be in there that long. Um, I I didn't touch anything, so don't worry about that. Uh, just go ahead and start it up. Oh, and shout out to you know whoever fa these have been fa these these glitches have been out forever. So, I mean, you know, all the glitchers out there, you guys know who you are. Appreciate it. I'm going to give a big shout out to the internet. Okay. The internet is how I found all this stuff. I mean, these have been been out for a long time. So, so you start up, you're in a helicopter, land it back down. Um, it's really easy. They did patch this previously. I don't know why Rockstar has to do this. I mean, it's not just wear whatever we want to wear, dude. That would be so cool. Just let us customize our characters fully. I mean, they would, they would keep a lot of player retention if they did that. But anyways, as you see now, both of us have a uh, black duffel bag or money bag on our backs. Uh, all you do is you go into your inventory, go to body armor, and then you go over there and just spam uh, show armor. And just flip around to a couple of different ones, um, you know, no big deal, just flip through. And I left it on, you can leave it on anything, I think I left mine on standard or something like that, or light armor, what was it? Yeah, standard. So I left it on standard. Okay, let your buddy know you're about to kill the mission, make sure he's good to go with whatever he wants to do. Uh, just pull your phone out and go to the, the center icon right there, the job list, open that up. And then you just tap square, and then, okay, there, uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, you just tap square, circle, whatever, back out of there. Uh, kill the mission, and then you'll load back in. And once you load back in, you'll have the bag. Now, sometimes the bag will kind of glitch and disappear. If that happens, load into story mode, come back, and it should be there. If not, then just redo this glitch. It's no big deal. It takes like two seconds. It really does. And that's that. Now you have a duffel bag on whatever outfit you want. Now, say you have a duffel bag, but you don't want to do this, and you're just by yourself, and you want to transfer your duffel bag onto another outfit. Like I have this outfit right there. It's got a bag. I want to put it on my military one, right? So you just, you wear the outfit that has the bag. You get up in a helicopter, all right? Get high enough up. Uh, so that outfit right there has the duffel bag on it. Pull your chute immediately. Open up your interaction menu. Go into your style and then select the outfit that you want to place the bag onto, right? So land it. As soon as your guy starts to take the, the parachute bag off, just click on that outfit that you want to put it on and bam. Your money bag has transferred from one outfit to the next. You can go save it, and you got it. You're good to go. All right, it's that easy. It's really cool, really easy. So you have a buddy help you get the bag, and then you know he can go dip out, get some grub, and you can transfer to all the, the outfits that you want. And the next one's really cool. I like doing this, especially for car shows. This has been out for a long time. It's the, uh, the paint glitch for your cars, right? It's really easy. What you want to do is just go select whatever color you want. I, I went to matte. Looks, this works really good with matte, but you can use it with any color, any can, any kind of like paint scheme, metallic, you know, classic, whatever. Uh, so I, I just chose black really quick to show you. What you want to do is you want to go into metallic after you choose your, your color and just spam through all the metallic colors. It's really weird. how these, Who knows how these glitches work? It's whatever. So you pick the color you want, go to metallic, and then spam through all the metallic colors, back out, go to your plates, just change your plate option, just to one, you know, whichever other one you want. All right, go back into your paint, then go to your primary, go to your pearlescent, and bam, now I can put pearlescent paint on my mats, on my classic, on my metals, on, you know, crew color, chrome, whatever, it doesn't matter. And it's really cool. I mean, the hot pink looks really good, the purple. So, I mean, and, and that's really dope. It's really fun for car shows. I mean, a lot of you should know this already, but in case you guys don't, here you go. All right, so now I'm going to do another outfit glitch, right? I wanted to do like a desert outfit or whatever. I wanted to show you guys how to use uh, or put your bulletproof helmet with your mask. It's really easy. You know, I got some pants I've got right there. I selected my shoes. Everything's matched up, looking pretty cool, looking fresh and fly. Nice, durable shoes, good traction, good tread. Made sure I had the tan bulletproof helmet. Um, 
make sure I'm picking my mask. I got the tan mask right there. It looks really cool. I like that. It's like the combat mask or whatever. Got the uh, the scarf, the desert, uh, the tan desert scarf put on there. Chose my gloves. Uh, you know, went through that. You know, got all that taken care of. That's good to go. And then you go, you save the outfit, right? So go ahead and save the outfit with the mask that you want to uh, put your bulletproof helmet on. And once again, Rockstar, why cannot we just wear whatever helmet we want with whatever mask? I can do it in real life, right? So make sure you have a motorcycle. Go on down to the pier or whatever and go to the mask shop, all right? You want to register as a CEO, okay? Very important. Register as a CEO. Then what you want to do is you want to hover over or make sure you got your, uh, select the, uh, the helmet that you want to wear. So when you get on your bike, it automatically puts it on, right? That's what I was doing right there. So go to your CEO, go to management, go to style, and then hover over the CEO style where it says none. All right, get on the bike. Once your dude's on the bike, just click it once to the right on your, your uh, D-pad, your directional pad where it says founder. And then as the guy's putting the helmet on, the tan helmet, whichever one you selected, just click back to none, and it puts your outfit that you had saved or that you're wearing on. And bam, now you have a helmet and mask combo with a really dope outfit. And yes, the bulletproof helmets do help you in free mode by getting shot in the head. So it does give you a tactical advantage. And it looks really, really good. I mean, I finally have a tan outfit, like a you know, like a desert outfit or whatever. And that's really cool. Little things like this that I wish that we could just normally do without having to quote unquote glitch into the game and get glitched outfits. You know, we lost our police outfits or our trash man outfits, which was so dumb. But you know, where there's a will, there's a way you'll get it back. So this is another glitch I love to do. This is one of my favorite by far. Another good one for car shows. I'm using the Turismo Classic. And you'll notice in there, there is zero suspension option on that car. Zero suspension option at all. You can't slam this car out. Or can you? Right? So there's no suspension options on the vehicle. You have to, Do not put bulletproof tires on your car if you want this to work. Let me repeat. Do not put bulletproof tires on your car or this will not work. So this works on almost every car. Some of them it doesn't. But go out there. I use a suppressed weapon that's you know low power, low damage. I'm using my SMG, and then shoot the tire or shoot the rim in the center of the uh, of, of the wheel. And as you notice, it, the the car will actually drop down. Each tire it'll drop two clicks. All right. Now as you saw right there, it dropped out two clicks. Now I go to the front tire on the driver's side and just keep on shooting. Uh, I, I would recommend putting some armor on your vehicle just to be safe, just in case. Uh, once again, if you have anybody around you, if you have your friends around you, the car will blow up. I don't know. It's weird. Do it by yourself. If your friends are getting close to you, stop. Tell them to go away. See how it just uh, dropped out two clicks right there? Now that the tire is tucked into the wheel well, it looks so good. And you can see it's kind of angled. Uh, it's lower on the driver's side. So if your buddies are around you, just tell them to get the hell out of there. Let you know, Do it in an area where you won't get cops on you and there's no one around because your car will blow up. I don't know why it does that, but it does. You'll either pop your tire or the car blows up. So go to the next side, keep on shooting it up, slam it out, and you'll see See how it just, it just notched down one right there. Keep on shooting. It's like 60 bullets or something like that per notch. And then, bam, right there, it notched out one more time. And now that the rear tire is done, you can go ahead and knock out this one right here. Get that taken care of. Let's see, one's coming up. Got that taken care of already. Then you'll notch out again, and the tire gets tucked. And if you look at it from the side and the angle, the tires are actually cambered out, which is so dope. It looks so good. And the car completely drives differently. It's really good for uh, for drifting. I mean, this Turismo is a sick-ass car. It looks so good. And now it looks exactly the way it should. I mean, look how much better that looks. Look how sexy that is. I mean, come on. I don't know why they did not let us have a suspension option for this car. Um, but even if a car does have a suspension option and you drop it all the way out, you can still do this. So you can make some cars like literally scrape the ground. It looks so nice. It looks so good. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, and the car looks great. So these are, that's five of some of my favorite glitches I like to do in the game. Really cool, really fun, really nice. Um, there's plenty more that I have, or not plenty, like, like I said, but there's a few more that I, that I have that I'll definitely be showing you guys here. If you got any questions or comments, you know, if you got anything you want me to, to see if I can't work out and try, I'll definitely do that. Um, there's been, you know, a few money glitches that popped out, but those are they're so shady and so suspect right now, man. It's just not worth it. I mean, once again, hashtag grind or go broke. You know what I mean? For that, that's really important. I mean, get your just regular game up. There's never been a better time to make money in GTA as there is right now. I mean, I know it's tough, but if you got a little bit of focus, a little bit of time, you can get this money up, especially for this gun running DLC that's coming out soon, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped out. 
Let me know if you have any questions and comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills Rose content the game. Make sure you smash that means most moves the like button and stay dangerous. Peace.